Hello learners, welcome back to our lesson of home science. So on our previous lesson we had a look at uh, items used during play, that is when we are talking about playing and uh, health practices. Now we also talked of qualities of a good playing item whereby we say they should be smooth. Some of the things we talk of we should always ensure that they are easy to play with, they are, should always be strong. And another thing we talk of they should always be safe during play. Now today we are going to choose a game. We are going to choose a game and we are going to make a play item which we can use. Now our lesson of today, we are going to make a simple ball which we normally use during playing though we don't know its importance. But then it is very useful to us. Now our game of today, the, the ball we are going to make is the one that we use during skipping. That is, we call it that ball of Kati. Now for us to make our game, or for us to make our ball, we are going to you need some of the materials. What materials are we going to need? One, the material we are going to need, we need a clean pair of socks. And then after we've availed a clean pair of socks, number two, we'll need maybe something to do with the pieces of cloth or pieces of papers or magazines. Number three, we've availed our clean pair of socks. We've also availed the clean, we've also availed clean, clean pieces of cloth or clean pieces of papers or magazines. Number three, we'll need uh, something to do with either a string. We can use a string. And then we now make our ball. Now what are the procedures on how we are going to make this ball? We've availed these materials. What are the procedures on how to make the ball? Number one, number one, we talk of take a clean pair of an old socks. After you've taken a clean, clean pair of old socks, what do we do with it? Now, fold the pieces of cloth. and squeeze them in inside the piece of socks. Then number three, we are going to mold mold the pieces to make a shape of the ball and then after we've mold the pieces what do we do now number four Stage number four, we've molded it, then turn the molded pair inside out. And then stage number five, what do we do? Now we've done all this. The last stage is we tie a knot, tie a knot or use a string 
we'll use a string to tie the ball. Now those are some of the procedures that we are going to do. I'm going to take you through it. So our procedure number one, we've talked of we should put, we avail our socks. Here it is. After we've availed our socks, we are going to take our pieces of cloth. With me I have these. And then we squeeze them deep inside. After squeezing them deep inside, one by one, as you put them, So after that, we are going to mold it in a shape of a ball because we've pushed them already deep. So we mold it properly to make a good ball. Now, as we do that, remember we've already pushed them inside. What do we do? We mold the pieces. And then as we mold, we twist the socks. After twisting, we turn our ball. We'll turn our ball with the to make the good shape then if the socks is still long we can also twist again and then after twisting now we either tie a knot or use a string now in this case i'm going to show you how to tie a knot and there we have our ball and we are ready to use it to play. Now this is our ball. It is now ready for the game. Now that is how we can make a ball, a simple back at home. If you take a look at it, it is soft. It does not harm anyone. So we can use it during our play because it is also safe during play. As we had mentioned some of the qualities, we should ensure that the ball that we have made is always safe for play. Now that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Until we meet next time.